the format of the robot. As an eight-year-old, there was one thing that I looked forward to every Sunday, considering that I could not wait for church to end. I would rush into the apartment that I lived in and sit on the couch for a second, to relax. I would then check if my grandmother had bought the Sunday paper. I lived with my grandparents, and I would rather not explain why. If she didn't, then I would walk into my room and play my DS, or read, or play with the Kinect set that I had. However, if she did buy the newspaper, then I would search through the sea of tree pulp to find two things. The first being the crossword puzzle, I utterly loved those, and the second being the Sunday funnies. Being born in the year 2000 made it a bit late for me to love the classics, but oh well. I loved the humor of Family Circus and the witty jokes of Pearls Before Swine, but my favorite one was Garfield. I loved how the lasagna-loving cat always made it through what mischief he got himself into, and how he loved catching a few more hours of sleep, dreaming of lasagna. I would never think that there was more behind the life of this happy fat content cat. A few days ago, I was bored, surfing YouTube, looking to see if some ordinary gamers had posted any new videos, particularly his haunted gaming and creepypasta videos. I then looked up cartoon theories, such as the Adventure Time one, which did not affect me, or the Smurfs Nazi theory, which I laughed at. I mean come on, little blue men Nazis? They might as well bring in a red Indiana Jones for crying out loud, but the theory made sense. I then found a top 10 creepy cartoon theories, so I decided to take a look. Not many of them surprised me, for I had read better creepypastas about these, except the Rugrats theory, which seemed pretty legit, and actually kind of sad. What shocked me though was that there was a theory on the Garfield comic series, I thought that it would be a cliché theory that it was about a kid who thought he was a cat, or that John was imagining it, but this theory really shocked me to the bone. It told of a series 1989 Halloween comic strips that Jim Davis wrote, entitled Alone. It begins with our favorite cat waking up and complaining about the cold, and saying that he is feeling an eerie sensation, saying that it doesn't feel like his home. He then walks into the hallway calling for Odie and John, and he looks all around the house, and realizes that he is alone. His conscience tells him about how he doesn't know how alone he is, and the once happy looking house turns sorrowful and abandoned. Garfield makes up a few reasons why John and Odie are gone, and he picks up a picture of the trio, and realizes that his home has been abandoned and he hasn't lived there for years, yet he has. He then hears something, and sees John and Odie in the kitchen, with the former offering breakfast to Garfield. The food and John disappear as he was handing it to him, leaving the poor cat in the abandoned house alone again. Garfield sees his life is a lie, that he is slowly going insane from starvation, and that Odie and John have either left or died, leaving him trapped in the foreclosed house with no one. He uses the only mental weapon that he has left, denial. He denies that his life is a lie, and he hallucinates about his happy life, ending the comic with a moral. This comic tells us a number of things that I have managed to put together. The abandoned house and the absence of people is how we would view Garfield's life through our eyes, not unlike that of the pyro from Team Fortress 2. Inside Garfield's mind however, he is dreaming up his past life, reliving old memories to keep the loneliness away, like how the pyro thinks that the world is just a big candy land. It also tells us that the whole comic series is a lie, that Garfield has been making it all up all along, reacting his past life and adventures so he doesn't have to face the truth. He has slowly gone insane from hunger and loneliness that he temporarily sees reality as it is, the truth too devastating that he seals himself back into his fantasy life, and that as he dies, that his eyes close for the final time, seeing that his owner has left him to die, but who knows? Maybe, just maybe, Garfield will open his eyes and see the real John and Odie by his side, ready to help him live his happy life. Go on, research this, the comic exists, 